Hi, I'm Bravo, a psychologist with over 10 years of experience in the field. Today we're looking at a relationship so complex and so intertwined that it's hard to believe. And we're so lucky today to have both parties with us. Allow me to introduce Snipedown and Lethal. How long did you guys team? About uh, a while. <laughs> a little over a year. I'm really not even. Almost a year, I'd say. Was it? I think it was. I think it was. I think it was one year, almost exactly. So, gentlemen, we may be entering a more difficult part of the conversation, um, but as we know, all good things, or perhaps all things, must come to an end. And eventually, you are teaming no longer. Uh, Eric, we'll start with you. Why do you think you broke up? I think a uh, lack of communication mm. ended up causing internal turmoil. Mm. And you know that just breaks everyone down from the inside if you don't <laughs> talk about things. So, <laughs> TJ, your take. Uh, looking back, I probably wouldn't have done it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I was a little bit at fault, I'd say, uh, for the whole thing, seeing as how I was the one that left and initiated it and did the whole thing. And it was probably my fault, but it wasn't my fault. Got it. No. Yeah. It makes total sense. I, I, I know exactly what you mean. Um, Eric, what was it like seeing TJ for the first time after the breakup? I don't think I said a word to him, uh, as far as I remember. Mm -hmm. Definitely remember messaging him multiple times, mm -hmm. voicing my frustrations. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, made a video. Video? Yeah, I made like a YouTube it. video. I thumbs it up. You liked it? It was a good video. Gave it a thumbs up? Yep. Subscribe. Subscribed. Subscribe. I don't know if Eric remembers, but directly after the team change, there was a X Games tournament, and the shuttles oh boy. To, from the airport mm -hmm. to the lodging areas, I happened to get in at the exact same time as their entire team. The shuttle was just me and the... <laughs> the uh, walk, walk me through the, the feelings on this shuttle. The, right, snow's fallen, you're in Aspen, Colorado, it's a cozy little shuttle, you're back together again, how does it feel? It took a long time to get to that lodging mm -hmm. area, or it felt like it. I, it was a very bad snowstorm, mm -hmm. very awkward. That is pr probably top three worst experiences in my life. Wow, okay. Jeez, this was a pretty bad shuttle ride. All the worst. The worst. Eric, for you, the shuttle ride. I'm glad I had my teammates there with me. Yeah. I, yeah. Had, I needed backup. <laughs> you had nothing. I had less than nothing. Yeah. How would you describe your relationship now? Eric, we'll start with you. I think everyone moves on. I think there's a, a fine line of, you know, you, you kind of accept things at a certain point of how it is. And I, I've always said I don't mind the decision. It was more so about how the decision was made. TJ, how, how would you describe the relationship today? Slightly better than it was during that shuttle ride. All right. It's better than I thought it would be, but at the time, I kind of felt like that was the end all be all. I was like, well, when I make this decision, I'm losing all my friends. But over time, you know, we've, we've become cordial. We've been pretty friendly. But uh, I don't know if he's noticed. It always somehow bounces back. Uh, we always get back into a little heated rivalry somehow. Mm -hmm. I swear, we're friends for a while, and then I don't know what happens. Some scrim happening somehow, a tea bag, and next thing I know, our teams are kind of at each other's throat again. Next thing you know, their whole team's in my chat talking about the scrim. We love the stream. <laughs> yeah. We love the content. Me I'm a member of Snipe Town. Well, I was. You were. I was evicted. Uh, he's currently banned in my chat. No, no, yeah. That's, uh, what's the story there? I'd love to know that, but <laughs> if we have time. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you guys to say one nice thing about each other. Um, TJ, we'll start with you. Oh. One nice thing about Eric. I think Eric is good at Halo. Great. Well done. Eric, one nice thing about TJ. I find your sarcasm humorous sometimes. Thank you. Well done, Eric. Something I like to do in all of my sessions is close with uh, asking the two parties what song reminds um, them most uh, of the other person. Um, Eric, we'll start with you if you had to pick a song that might remind you of Lethal. First thought, Three Days Grace, I hate everything about you. 
All right. The only thing that's popping into my head right now isn't even a song. It's just, it's a sound bite uh, from Goldmember. Share it with us, please. I love gold. <laughs> I, it's just, I'm a really valued member of Snipe Town, and every time he gets a sub or something, that's all I hear. And he loves, and his subs love to bring up X Games. Gentlemen, I think we made a lot of real progress here today. Thank both of you for your time. And uh, I look forward to jumping into uh, some games this weekend. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap today's session. I think we've, we've made some real accomplishments here, and I'm excited to see exactly how the matches unfold. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, bravo. Yeah. 10 years experience. Over 10. You Over kept 10. So quiet. Yeah. Wow. That's that's quite impressive. I mean, what an incredible chat we saw there from the two gentlemen that are about to take the main stage against each other. Some real progress there. Oh, without a doubt. I think we saw uh, some real transformation um, between the two, and I imagine that things will be even more cordial from here on out. Yeah. I would just quickly like to talk about my emotions here on the desk right now. If anyone at home was wondering what it looks like to be left out, this is it right here. Um, <coughs> what are you just, talking about? Can we just talk about this for a second? Sure. What's the, what, what? what would you like to speak yeah, about? Yeah, like yeah. What, what is going on? Uh, just excited for the rivals match. You got note cards too. You're saying, you know, it's oh just because yeah. we all have the same note cards or what are you talking about? Someone needs to explain. Just saying. Cry me a river lot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to say right now, this is definitely about Golden Boy. What is it? Come on. Look. Trio. A tri -cast trio. Going on. The trio is here. So basically, Walsh has been trying to get rid of Golden Boy for a while now. Years, and uh, we've given years, him yeah. that opportunity to step up and join what has been the most formidable duo uh, probably of the last at least 15 to 20 minutes. I was going to say something. Uh, and step up and... Dave just jumped to the opportunity, strangely. Straight away, he's got... Oh, the hold on. I appreciate looking forward to my and, trial. Uh, yeah. You know, security, can we get this this guy? Do you know Golden what? Boy. Alex, Alex, come here. Perfect. <laughs> I'm just going to say words hurt, okay? Maybe we need a counseling session, Dave, after I slapped you in Big Team Battle. How about that? Uh, Alex can't, puts can't the, hear me? Alex puts the big in Big Team Battle. <laughs> <laughs> he, won't even, he won't even say it to him. You know, we can have a session. Okay. Later. Oh, my goodness. Right, gentlemen. I'm going to have ground. to stop. I'm going to have to stop the fun with you guys right there because we have more fun with the rivalries right now. I'm so sorry, Alex. I hope you're okay. Let's talk charities right now. This is why we are here Let's doing this so charitable <laughs> match. Oh, composure. Um, so, of course, we have charities that are going to be donated to by the end of this evening. Uh, now, the first one, Lethal has chosen Best Friends Animals Society. It's true to his heart, near and dear. And then Snipe Down has gone with American Cancer Society. So whoever wins this match of rivalries will be donating to their charity of choice. I mean, it's incredible, isn't Amazing. it? Yeah. Uh, we've had so many incredible things happen so far this weekend. So many charities are going away with incredible donations. And we're just adding to the fun here, aren't we, Walshie? Absolutely. I mean, gentlemen, looking at what we've got now in front of us, lethal, snipe down, head to head. You did that, you know, wonderful marriage counselling for those guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like they're going to have it out on the stage once and for all. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think uh, much like the Walsh GB match, but maybe even more so. Uh, mm. These guys don't want to lose to each other. They've they've handpicked their teams. Uh, obviously, there's a there's even more history than Walsh and GB have, which is which is hard to imagine and uh no neither of these guys want to lose of course it's great to have them able to to also donate to their to their charity of choice a lot on the line here definitely is right should we have a look at our series layout gentlemen see what the tricast has in store for us today obviously brought to you by xbox game pass as always first up we have the wheel spin deciding lockout halo 2 1v1 that actually was a caster decision it by was. the youtube right there That's we, were, we, we were later informed yeah. that we went way off script and we're not allowed <laughs> yeah. to choose lockout 1v1 <laughs> however because it is such a legendary <laughs> game type it, it ended up being game you, you've actually, we, we got lucky you've actually got yeah. lucky there that's incredible so we got that start walshi what do you feel about that start here it's a it's a classic i mean if you're playing if you if you beat somebody in matchmaking in Halo 2 back in the day, the first message you get is 1v1 lockout. Yeah, 1v1 lockout. Good yeah. choice, good choice. A great choice. Trio. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, good. again, my emotional state is broken, uh, but we're okay. Uh, gentlemen, obviously, Empire, The Rig, The Pit, Beaver so. Creek, some incredible game types and games. Got Halo 5, double Halo 5 in a row, Halo 3 and Halo 2 there. Which, by the way, uh, <laughs> Golden Boy had the golden opportunity to throw in Halo 1 for game number five to ensure that we have the triathlon for the first time on a main stage. 
somehow what, failed to do so. He didn't. Can do I that. tell you? So, we'll talk about this later. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we, many we other things to, he's done. That's not, enough, that's not even. There's not close enough to the to worst he's done. Okay, um, yeah. We'll talk about it later. Please. I can't even get over these jumpers. I'm looking. By the way, shout this. out to South by Southwest Gaming Crew. Yeah, these are amazing. Yeah, so shout out. We got to show this thing in all its glory. Uh, but this is part of the scooting crew. As I said, the, the scoot by Scoot West. The scene That's here, the electronic scooter, scooter scene here in Austin, Texas, during South by Southwest, <laughs> looks as if you took an overhead of, say, that match we had, a uh, big team battle, and you also looked at the streets of Austin, Texas, they would look identical. It's pretty wild. Very similar though. heat maps as well for yeah. where Andy's hit stuff. Absolutely. Sure. Gentlemen, we are pretty much ready to go. I just want to remind everyone at home that there's £5,000 going to the chosen charity at the end of the night. So please, audience, make some noise for this incredible match happening right now. We've got so much on the line. Gentlemen, please take it away. All right, gentlemen. The tri-cast is wow. here. Three oh. Oh, my God. You know what? In this situation, Gold Boy would be taking it. I was like, all right, we're going to get into the match. And what's going to happen up first? We got, we got guns. We got grenades. We got all this sort of stuff. You guys are This is the most that Dave's managed. Sorry, feels so much more it's comfortable. The most, it's the most that Dave's managed to get words in, in yeah, a, on a commentary stint for the while, and you can see he's absolutely loving it. Uh, let's talk about his, this then, gents. Obviously, lethal versus snipe down. Uh, it's a historic rivalry now. We'll start off with the psychologist uh, from this. Uh, what are your thoughts on this first game? I'm so glad that you and I had the choice of the first game because I think starting things off with the one v one are the, is the right way to go here. This is lethal versus snipe down. So the game type is going to be, uh, of course, your, your standard MLG rule set here. It's going to be. Uh, no radar, BR start, of course, snipers in play. Not sure if it's on a double time. Should be a double time sniper. Also got to question uh, <coughs> Lethal's Halo 2 knowledge because at some point, if you're the one that's shooting the barrels, you can shoot a barrel at the exact right moment and it will right. stay up top right. snipe. You shoot the closest barrel. Yeah, Come on. What? Uh, yeah. And uh, also, I don't know what Lethal did. He just may have. Did he create chaos? All right, no, he, oh, did, he did it up he there. Did. He okay. didn't go grab it? He just had no idea where it was going to end up. Look, the important thing is here that Snipe Down has got the first kill. He's drawn first blood in this battle, and now it's going to be a slow, methodical game as he does spot Lethal out here. Top of the BR tower has the sniper rifle in hand as well. Narrowly misses that shot, though. Watch what you've seen. Uh, well, I was going to ask, like, which one of these guys has more Halo 2 experience? Because I know Snipe Down grinded the game quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, I obviously, both had to have a decent amount of Halo 2 experience because they were both so good at Halo 3. Right, uh, absolutely. I think we're, over the course of this game, we'll get an idea of maybe who has the Halo 2 upper hand. Uh, that'll also maybe be uh, a table setter for things to come in that Creek flag as well. And the thing that I'm absolutely loving already, it's 1 0. Look how seriously these two are taking it. Like, yes, there's no they, challenging. Oh, no. No one is getting up going over the top, and it's 1 0 when we're already a couple of minutes in. Well, I think they both also realize that no matter which way the series goes, whoever wins this also gets either extra bragging rights or they can counter to say, you know what? Well, we, we know having one v one. This game is definitely worth more than simply the 15 minutes here. Okay, well, I don't know what we should do right now. Lethal's 1 0 down. Should we ask him how things are going? Should, yeah. we jump, should we jump in and have a chat? TJ, can you hear us? Oh, that's so nerdy. I like TJ. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? <laughs> I think he <laughs> you're can hear distracted. Us. I think he said, yeah, you're distracting me. Your oh, mic's sorry, a little sorry. further away. Uh, what's, dude, what's the play here, TJ? How long have you known that for, man? I didn't know you could look through like that. I was never doing that years ago. No? Wait, stop. But you wait, remember wait. a Halo 2 launch that you could grab the ball through the bottom? Yeah, I was always grabbing the ball through there, but I wasn't like bouncing my head. <laughs> No. Should have been head bouncing, man. He's <laughs> on <laughs> <Sorry to> montage. <laughs> <laughs> so, TJ, why did you not grab that sniper off the start, man? Oh, I don't want to snipe. You don't want to snipe? He doesn't want to snipe. So you want to give that's, him that's, the sniper? That's try hard. That's try hard? Okay. Oh! Wait, wait. Can I just tell TJ what he does? No, don't do that. Oh, sorry, I wasn't. I, I, I yeah, I know. All right, all right, cool, cool. <laughs> all right, we'll let we'll let TJ get on with it. We'll, uh, can we jump in with with snipe down now? Is that a possibility? Eric, can you hear us? I'm gonna take that as a no. So what we'll do no, is we'll, no. con we'll continue commentating right now. Obviously, still at one to zero. The way we can tell if Eric can hear us is I can create some static on the mic, and then he will absolutely respond if he yeah. can hear. Oh boy! Oh two to zero for Snipe Down. I actually have the Halo 2 Footsteps app, so if we go on board with Snipe Down, I'm gonna play the Halo 2 Footsteps. So he's gonna start panicking <laughs> and spinning around. <laughs> can you hear us, Snipe Down? No, they're not gonna patch us he's in. Gonna, he's, he's just gonna ignore. Oh. Us. Here goes Lethal then. Whoa. Pushing in towards the library now. Lethal nades through. Crazy windows. Top mid pushes. Oh, and wow. he gets one on the board. The depth oh. in halves, and there we go. And no maybe, bad maybe the screen's no lagging a little bit because you saw him continue to shoot after that right there. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Look at this. These guys are getting risky. So you saw how slow things were off the break. They're both getting a little frustrated with just flying in with top mid pushes here. Two to one then. Snipe down versus Lethal. 
Lee could get some good shots down. Stun oh. down, no! Turns it around and, oh! That's happened again, David. Yeah, yeah, so like strange. I said, like, Check maybe we just have some sort of... Wait a minute, Abe. That snipe wasn't empty, though, was it? I don't I it was. Look at Lethal off the break lands. Two good shots from snipe three. Gosh. Is this your new casting voice? I don't know. I don't know. Big, big I it's kind of a combination. Constant state of surprise. <laughs> your, uh, <laughs> Those barrels did hit, Psychologist by the Psychologist voice. I know. Normal casting voice. There's the snipe. I knew it was down BR2. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, Lethal deliberately not... Oh, no. That snipe down who didn't take it that last time, right? Yeah. Um, Maybe just baited it. Maybe just mind-gamed I don't think he Lethal knew. so hard. I don't know if he knew it was down BR2. But interesting take here for snipe down to go blue because... Uh, also, it's going to take to take three of the four nades, not all four. <laughs> no, there's the fourth. He knew, the, he, he knew, yeah, knew yeah, there yeah. was a fourth he, on that's, elbow. That's what's up with these pros. He saw just, that uh, earlier. Yeah, he points. saw that earlier and just... I'll get... So I'll, you know what? I'll just get the one on elbow. He saved that microsecond, too. He's like, I don't have the time to go all the way in that corner, grabbing that fourth frag grenade. I'm already going to be heading this way. Oh, look at this. Five to one already. Five to one. Another up. barrel. The question I want to put to you guys right now is, what's going to happen first? Will it be a headshot here with a sniper rifle from snipe down, or will it be a smile from snipe down? Ooh. Ooh. Both. Uh, it's going to uh, be a sniper headshot, for sure. We could see them happen at the same time. That's true. This could happen. We have the technology. Snipe down there, moving towards it's the a blue tower. Good rotation. Love sitting top blue. Are we whether, all a fan of this rotation? Yeah, That's whether it's a 1v1 yeah. or a 4v4, it's all right. top blue's cool. All right, Dave thinks it's okay. It's, it's okay. Talk to us. I mean... There's like one part that's that's troublesome about this area is when it's, when someone gets a few shots and you it's you're pinned out. up there. You're, this guy's you're crazy. Double. He's a madman. Flying Tom in. This is he, trouble. I think he's he play this the barrel oh, there. Oh, Lethal gets one back on the board. Then five to two. Nine minutes left. I think the sniper rifle just disappeared into the abyss there. So we've been playing for too long. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I forgot this, the respawn timer on the snipe. So we'll see when that oh, comes back I mean, up. But do you guys know? Huh? Yeah. Put you guys on the spot. What is, once you're coming up, Mark? I'll tell you when it comes up. You'll tell me when it comes up when yeah. you see it? All right, all right. The, the action there from, uh, from Lethal. Look at this. So he doesn't need the sniper rifle. He wants to uh, <laughs> I think a little bit of Walshy action into, uh, into the party here. Wow. Hey, Lethal is from Michigan, so maybe maybe he took some influence. He wasn't one of your practice names, though, right? No, no. I, I ended up being one of his practice names when he started playing. <laughs> it's tough how that thing happened. Oh, Look, yeah, yeah. it's sniped down from BR3. Six to three. Good shots. My oh my. My oh my. Great shots. I'm wondering, uh, he just knows where he's coming around. I am not afraid to challenge these. I think Except for the times where he gets afraid and he just runs away. Yeah, as soon as he started shooting, I think he was thinking, Ooh, another great win there. I think another, uh, as soon as he started shooting, he was like, I really should have made it to BXR here. You can kind of see the hesitation and miss shots from both of them. We just got a producer in here saying, Snipe Down was two in it near us, guys. So maybe we can talk louder, or uh, we could have been a little bit more annoying. We could try to get Patch back in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bring us be, back. I think, yeah, I think it's about time to get Patch in the Snipe Down. That's certainly not something we struggle with. <laughs> Some uh, sneaky peeky here. Snipe Down. Hey, don't get it brave. It's always interesting when you're fighting that from BR3 to Snipe side. You, just, you gotta wait till you hit that first burst. You're just like, all right, yep, I got this fight. Yep. Well, let's just play out. Hey, Snipe Down, we figured it's a great time to jump on in. How you doing, buddy? Just as you die. What's going on, Snipe Down? How you doing? Cool. That's what I thought as well. Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking, yeah. That's what my reaction. That makes a lot of sense. Snipe Down, make it easy. All right, Snipe's up that late. I think it's on double time. He's basically saying action speed louder than words. Right. That's Wow, look at that plasma hit. How did that one hit? Tough to say. It's hard to tell. All right, so after uh, too much chatter on there, our producer said we're going to leave that talk back there from Snipe Down, despite us having a uh, good conversation. Yeah, no, I, it was great talking to Eric and hearing kind of his take on how the thing's been going. Yeah, it yeah. was a real good insight. To, uh, oh, oh mind of professional Halo player! I think the wins the up close, a personal battle there. Seven to five now. Yes, a sniper as well. So seven to five. Yeah, unfortunate series of events there. I think Eric thought about picking up Snipe, thought about BXRing, BXBing, it all kind of happened at once, and now it's only a two-kill game. Does spot snipe down all the way across the map, jumps on over, so we can see the body in the hands of Lethal and see how he's going to take advantage of the situation. Snipe down gets away. He's crazy. Oh my. That's a One kill game, ladies and gentlemen. That's a challenge and a half. Look at Lethal checking those uh, elbow spawns. And sometimes you do that extra half as well. Like sometimes people just go with the one challenge, but. Uh, you got to get a half challenge. Yeah, sometimes you got to do the one and a half and just the, the right amount. Didn't work out there, though. Didn't work out. One kill then. Oh. 
Was that a top pitch? Blue or? Snipe, snipe down's already close. That felt like that yeah, burst that, hit yeah, really yeah, hard. Yeah. Like, unless he's host here no, no, on no. Halo 2, we're or all on he's the same right page. Snipe down was right there at S2. Those shots felt a little too close to him. Yeah. <laughs> snipe down, sneaky bottom middle, man. Lethal ooh, gets caught off guard. Needs to hit something magic here. Lethal doesn't do it. Gets taken down. Snipe turns yeah, over into the hands of oh, Snipe down once more. Someone walk. hasn't picked up the. You know what I'm talking about down there. Well, I, if I had to guess. I don't want to say it out loud in well, case the players hear us. If I had to guess, Dave, this could be some honor rules. None of that nonsense. Honor rules? What? I don't know. Based I mean, on what we've seen, I think it has to be. Uh, I'm surprised. I, I mean, don't know how good you think your work was, Andy, but I'm pretty sure there's still no honor rules out there. I, every sniper, or sorry, every time I've played 1v1 on lockout, there's been no honor rules about not grabbing swords. Are you like, serious? Yeah. I've only played my entire life honor rules, no sword 1v1. Well, of course, at the beginning you say, hey, we're both not grabbing sword, but we both understand it's cool yeah. to still grab, right? No, I'm not kidding. I'm on your side, Dave. Yeah, and we got 99 Especially saying, if I go down by a couple of kills. We got 99 saying no as well. Wow. Yep, in my ear. So I don't I don't know what kind of crazy part of Michigan you started playing Halo in. Um, but no, it's called Grand Rapids. It's a classic Halo town. It's not down up by three kills then. You can see Lethal peeking around the pillars top middle. Needs to get these kills to get back into it. Five minutes on the clock as well. Can we see some double shots here? Come on. Yeah, come on, man. Put them fingers clicking. To focus on you, these you guys. Could, you could, like, cut the tension. Yeah. Like, Have you noticed how quiet the room is? Or with, yeah. a, or with a sword. Oh, BXR, oh, baby! Oh, From Snipe oh, Down. That's the first BXR we've seen. Hopefully not the last of the day. There's oh, there we go. He's got it. He could do it. He's just not doing it. The rhythm of the double shot, I will say, is different in MCC than it is on, of course, an original box and a controller S. It feels a bit different, but when you get it, it feels good. That's right, yeah. I guess I'm not used to BXR or double shotting on, like, an Xbox uh, One controller at all. Yeah, I mean, BXR is quite standard, but there's definitely a different rhythm for the double shot. Gotcha, gotcha. So as the time is dwindling down here, gentlemen, it looks a little bit like Snowdown might be in position to take our game number one in our rivalry series. Uh, we've got four minutes left. Yeah, play Kill a minute, not too bad. <laughs> funny. That's, not, that's not even funny. Why are you guys laughing? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't, I sneezed. Uh, you know what Golden Boy would be probably saying in this situation? I don't even want to think, think about it. It's just being, yeah, ridiculous. Jibber jabber, here comes the slabber. We're pushing on over <laughs> towards Snipe Tower. Like, you know, just something Jibbity like jabber. Yeah. Dude, seriously, this, this cast already has been better than any cast I've had with Golden Boy over the last two to three years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's certainly been more insightful. <laughs> Lethal's got to make something happen here. Down by four with 340 left. And he spots him. Last time he gave him that fight. Keep in mind, this is a best of five. I 11 is six now. I believe our games two and three are Halo 5. Is that right? Yeah. No, not sure why that happened. Oh, wait, I know why. Golden Boy. Golden Boy. Yeah. One thing I do want to point out is that Lethal has always said he is the best at getting character wins. So when those team games come in, Oh, actually, That's Lethal also did mention it was not yeah. part. He mentioned it during the interview. Oh! oh Ow! Oh no! Somebody check that. Look at this. Just double checking. That's. He maybe he didn't see the metal That's on the screen. That's the first maybe time sure we've seen gonna... that done at an elevated height. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone look down on someone's body and celebrate uh, that way. The vertical bag. The vertical bag. <laughs> wow. I'm never gonna look at shortcut the same. 12 to 6. The things that have happened there. Unspeakable things. All right. What I was going to say, though, was Lethal mentioned to me uh, in our session yesterday that he is one of the best, if not the best, Super Fiesta player in the world. Oh! Come on, man. It's not really mattering now, though. Not yet. <sighs> uh, we're going to see what he does to try to find this upcoming spawn. But... It seems like every single time Lethal has taken a little bit more time anytime he spawns to like go charge snipe down, where snipe down, he instantly is just like, nope, I'm flying at you. I'm coming straight over from from VR2. Or oh VR3. no. I'm out. I don't even know this is, what this to is all you guys say anymore. Uh, one more kill to go. Lethal might just be charging. Or snipe down. I don't think it matters at this shot. point what Lethal does. Like no. snipe down's no scoping him, quick scoping him. Oh, he just he wants some sort of glory kill real quick. I'm pretty sure snipe down BXR snipe right there. Oh no. He's going for it. Alright, minute 44 left. It's uh, probably mathematically very difficult. 
Oh wait, 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 wait. Come oh wait, wait. He if knows. this happens, it's automatic game ender. Can we, can we change the rules and say if you hit that, that's like worth three kills or something? That's, that's I would have said game. Game, that's game one. Okay, hundred yeah, percent game one. Okay. Yep. So now you don't got to do lethal. You got one minute twenty-seven to hit something <laughs> like that. All right, here's the question now. If we do get to the, the Creek CTF, I believe that's our game five. Game and that's it. Snipe down takes game number one, 15 to seven. Put your hands together, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. What a performance that was. And a deep breath taken as well. <laughs> you wanted that so bad. I kind of feel sorry for TJ, to be honest. Lethal just tells teammates, you should have been doing this slightly differently during this situation. You should always say, you know, what his teammates could have done better during that last game. So. Congratulations to Smite down there taking that first game from Lethal's team. However, I do feel like it's not Lethal's strong suit in those sort of situations. He really is a team player. Uh, and I think the game is on, gentlemen. Personally, I do think so. I think that will just roll him up in the right way. I think Snipe down disagree there. He's a great team player. But uh, the, book, yeah. the, the thing for Snipe down now is that he can sit there and go, whatever happens in the rest of the series, 1v1 me on lockout. <laughs> I want it. You know, 1v1, I won. And you, you have that in the bag. Gentlemen, we've got a replay ready for you to uh, have a look at and everybody at home courtesy of Mixer. Here we go, first map of our series of rivalries. We've got 1v1 lockdown on Halo 2. Gentlemen, I mean, snipe down, had the sniper and it was kind of game over for, for lethal there, wasn't it? Yeah, that one kill was our fault because we were yelling at snipe down yeah, that entire battle. <laughs> But this, I mean, and do we get oh. we see the repeated elevated back? Ah, uh, no, they that was, that was too hot. Oh, for you get to do that? They said it was CBR three. They said it was too hot for TV. Oh, I mean, wow. This was a highlight reel, to be honest. The end of that game was genuinely a highlight reel. Oops, it really now. was. Oh, were we playing last kill wins? Yeah, we were. Snuck one. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it. That's not a great way to go out, is it? But we have uh, we have a lot more left to get through, though, gentlemen. Especially with you in your wonderful sweaters all together. How how is the tricast, by the way? Enjoying oh, it? You know, it's I done fantastic, I think, I think fellas. If I might say so myself, yeah. Dave, Dave, take it away. That dream come true. Um, you know, I I like that my application was accepted and yeah. uh, this nice tryout for this trio. Um, I, I hope it's feeling as good for you guys as it is for me because, I mean, I I'm feeling a lot of chemistry here. Yeah, I, when I saw, when we saw the application, it went currently working with Golden Boy. We're like, dude, we got to help this guy. we got to yeah, get yeah, him out yeah. you know, as soon as possible. And, uh, I remember when we it. got here You're on in. Thursday for rehearsals, and there's, as you know, there's four casters here this weekend, and Dave's question to the production team was, um, or who else is here to cast with? And he learned it was Golden Boy was his partner for the rest of the weekend. That's when we kind of started talking about helping you out. And then follow-up question after that is, are, are these duels locked then? Um, <laughs> Deadly serious as well. Like he was trying to get pain. out of it. Are you yeah. guys just trying to make Walshy feel better for getting absolutely slapped earlier in this morning? Where did that oh, come from? Jeez, this was a pretty tame death. <laughs> I got you, Andy, Golden think, Boy. Don't worry. We'll let, we'll let these two sort that out. I got you, Golden Boy. Don't worry about it. Let's go straight into the series layer right now so we don't have to talk about what we just heard. Here we go. Xbox Game Pass providing our series layer all weekend long. We've just seen our lockout, lockout 1v1 there. Taken by Snipe Down very convincingly. We've got Empire on Halo 5. It's 4v4 Super Fiesta. Exciting stuff. Well, shall I let you take the reins there? What do you think? Are you okay, Dave? Uh, it's, I've got you. It's Empire, like, Halo 5. Uh, no, Dave, don't let Dave, her bring don't you down. Don't let her break you. Dave, Dave, take your tissues away uh, from your microphone. Uh, I'm not taking it personally, but yeah, Empire, Halo 5. Uh, All right, cut it out. Let's <laughs> yeah, okay. TJ told me TJ you. told me he's the best <laughs> Super Fiesta player uh, maybe in the world, and that this is his game type. So I'm expecting Lethal to bounce back here. Super Fiesta is a favorite game type of mine. In Halo 5, it's absurd because you have, of course, the entire... Uh, rec catalog of uh, insanity, and it's going to be a great match. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's just remind everybody at home and in the audience who is on Team Lethal and Team Snipe Down. We've got Lethal side, APG, Ace, and Roy, and Snipe Down has Snake by Eco and Pistola. So that's the that's the team of choice. They actually did get to pick their rosters. Yep. So uh, some convenient picks there, I would say. I'm not going to go into too much detail there, but some interesting ones for sure. Um, but looking at our two sides, obviously we're going into more of a of a sort of frenzy here rather than one v one. Uh, on the board, but what are we making of these two teams? Uh, I mean, Super Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> you are looking at some of the best. Yeah, Super it's going to be all about controlling <laughs> those <laughs> random <laughs> weapons. It's going to be... <laughs> yep. Power positions are going to be vital. I, TJ did game. mention to me he thinks that with Snipe Down's luck, he's going to get like three Norn Fangs, too. That's a good point. Uh, so, yeah, w um, for one of the first times on the HCS main stage, we can say that random factors and luck will be a huge part 
of this upcoming game. Absolutely. I just want to remind everybody on the desk and at home and in the audience that we are playing for charity tonight. Uh, and the winner of our rivalries match will be donating $5,000 to their charity of choice. Lethal has gone with Best Friends Animal Society and Snipe Down has gone with the American Cancer Society. So both really wonderful charities to give to tonight. And I'm excited that, you know, everyone's going to be a winner pretty much here this evening, uh, if not for your pride. But there we go. I'm, I'm really excited, gentlemen. It's going to be interesting. If you had to guess who was going to run away with this next map, Walshie, you're going to get a little prediction? Gosh. Uh, I mean, Ola's on the other team, and it doesn't matter kind of what weapons you have. I feel like you could, like, use two beam snipes, him with a rocket, and, like, he still somehow squirrels away and gets yeah. away. So. Plasma, yeah, Plasma Pistol Ola is more dangerous than a lot of Halo players. Yeah. So, um, I mean, Snipe Down is Ola. Snipe Down is looking good during game number one. I mean, they're uh, But it's good. 1v1, though. So. It is 1v1. That's true. I'm going with Lethal. I think Lethal's, Lethal's got this. He's tying yeah. up the series right now. Hey, the there we go. Proclaimed best Super Fiesta player in the world. And uh, I think right now uh, we're going to see why. He's going to show us that there isn't randomness to this. <laughs> Good. I like a torn Good desk. Mm -hmm. Bravo. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Lethal as well. Okay. I mean, I've never heard someone so adamantly speak to me about how good they were at Super Fiesta as I did Lethal. Okay, yesterday. wow. So he's he's very confident on this one. Yeah. I'm excited. He's got some uh, fans in the audience as well, so hopefully he can pull it out for them, if no one else. Uh, gentlemen, so let's just talk about exactly what we're seeing in our series layout. Uh, so we have, obviously, the Super Fiesta. For everybody at home who's kind of new to this, hasn't really seen this kind of gameplay, and obviously we're mixing it up on all the different games here, Halo 5, Halo 2, Halo 1, and all sorts. Uh, just explain to everybody at home how this works. Um, well, last time I went first and made a prediction, and uh, I felt like it might hurt my future chances with being part of the trio. So, bravo. You'll go last this time. Yeah, I'd love to go last sure, this time. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, you'd rather quick not. Question. Just a quick explanation. Just a yeah. real quick one. Sure, you got it. So, uh, yeah, Halo 5 has the biggest uh, sandbox, of course, of any Halo game, uh, due to the fact that it has all the rec weapons that are available in Warzone and everything. And eventually, er, early on in Halo 5, there was Fiesta, and then Super Fiesta launched, which brought in all of the weapons. And they're weighted a bit differently, so you're not going to see the Norn Fangs, etc as often as you will, say, lower tier weapons. So there is a waiting system to Super Fiesta. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of uh, mid-tier weapons, a lot of low-tier weapons, and then a few high-tier weapons if the dice roll works correctly. Amazing. Super stuff, Super Fiesta. Gentlemen, let's do this. <sighs> All right, who's getting the Nord Fang first? <laughs> let, that let's is put the money on it. We have Snipe down luck? Is that, is that a thing? We got a Nord Fang watch. I'm going to bet, okay, I'm going to bet on... Ola gets the first Nord Fang. Uh, also, do you, reckon, right. do you reckon Royal just start off with a BR here and force someone? Because that would be amazing. Oh, we, all, we should also should add that Super Fiesta on Empire is pure insanity, there's right? There's, no, there's, yeah, yeah. A, there's a few a maps that work really well for this, and I'll just say that this one is going to be the absolute most chaotic, and it's going to be insane. Here we yeah. go, then. Oh, Snipe down, obviously, with the one game lead here, Dave. Can he tie up? Can Lethal get back into this one? We will have to find out here in a moment, just because I felt like uh, Snipe down was like a good in game number one, but this is the luck of the draw. No matter what Lethal says, we're going to have to see which players get which weapons and do what they Go then load in into the game. Let's roll that dice. By the way, Let's see what weapons pop up. Who mind? 75 kills to win here in Super Fiesta, which oh, will go a lot minutes. faster than you think. <laughs> Someone brought a torch to the party there, but anyway, we're no, getting straight into this one. Snipe down gets a sniper rifle to kick things off. Of course he does. And I mean, oh, okay, Ola's got to be. Oh, stop, stop. Take it down, APG. Oh, no, I got know, there's, what, there's, there's no chance we are co commentating this. All right, Ola's got to beam. We're going to do our best here. We see a tube on the map as well. There's a rail in play. And a few plasma casters. Plasma caster takes down one player there. That's Ace and APG. APG got rocks. This is the new tube. He's got dual. Dual new tube. In case he misses the first one, he's got the second one to back it right up. No, he's got rail gun right up. But this is why he is the self proclaimed best Super Fiesta player in the world. Take notes, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to improve your Super Fiesta game, the lead with the man to watch. I'm just hoping somebody tunes in to a permit for the very first time they yeah. see this. Like, is this the, these are the real competitive settings? Like, there's there no is a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I've been grinding Super Fiesta for thousands of hours. Unfortunately, that's actually my true story if you look at my matchmaking. <laughs> this would have been my moment to shine. APG does manage to turn on Snipe down to take him down. And look at this, Team Lethal. 11 to 7 at the start here. Beam rifle in hand here for Snake Bike gets taken down. Well, the saw coming in from Ace. So as we know, the real things that are going to move the needle here is something like a Nordfang or the Answer. If we see one of those in play, that's when people start to really panic here because those things can actually turn the tide of a Super Fiesta. What is the Answer? Because I used to always call the Plasma Pistol the truth in the game. So what one's the Answer? The Answer is, uh, is the upgraded saw. 
Well, they've managed to get the overkill. We're going to see a lot of triple kills, a lot of multi kills here. Roy now with the beam. 19 though, to, to 10 here. This is genuinely TJ's game at this point. He knows. Maybe game two was his choice. Well, keep in mind, you've never seen a more swingy and snowball game type than Super Fiesta, where for better or for worse, anything is possible. Ah, Not almost the gravity hammer, but Lethal's. He's no fool. He's played this before. This ain't his first Super Fiesta Rodeo. Absolutely not. Standard saw, no chance against the fuel up. And APG Each. making a very wise play. He didn't like the weapons he had, Killed so himself. he decided just to kill himself. Which I I need to check. If I'm not mistaken, I think base Super Fiesta probably doesn't have a suicide penalty. I need to check it, but I remember being in some wild 74, 74 matches where someone pulled off some nonsense that I wasn't ready for, where they totally like had everyone jump off the map or something like they still won. It could be an elite strategy. Yeah, Lethal's dead. It's time to now. Ace now going to be moving in towards the turbine. 27 to 19. Lethal's team are running away with this a little bit. Maybe it's time to start praying to the gods. The snipe down for a few lucky weapon drops. What's going on here? He's flying all about the place. DMR's not going to be the best one to uh, to get in the uh, inventory there. Five kill game now. Yeah. I want to see what Lola's about to do. Yep, here's that Lola. That is Ola. Yep. He's going to do it again. And that's the, like, one of the best parts I like about commentating Ola is I can say a lot of things and I'm not going to sound like a fool because every single time I see him about to end, oh. oh, Ola's about to get away here. I'm about to say, you know, as he's about to fight, someone's like, oh, it's Ola. He's going to get the kill. So. Absolutely. Let's see what the big weapons are in play. Not too not much. The, not the luck of the draw there for say, APG yeah. right there, though. I'm pretty sure I saw a uh, suppressor and a plasma rifle. Way, and I think he honestly should be going for those weapons. Time. I think it's a lot better weapon to be going for. By the way, this is going to be a perhaps one of my favorite uh, uh, moments here in competitive Halo history. I want to go to a Super Fiesta listen in with Team Lethal. Let's listen in. Oh. Outside. Yeah, outside blue, outside blue. Hey. Can you call up? Okay. Blue. 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 All right, so you might have heard the reactions there of the crowd when Ace got that Prophet's Bane. That's another uh, one of those weapons that can really let you run away with a Super Fiesta match. This game is so tight. It's 41 to 39, and I tell you what, I didn't ex necessarily expect, I don't think you did either, Walsh, for the callouts to be identical to an actual competitive yeah, match. Yeah, I was expecting them to be like, oh, man, he got that, or he's over there with rockets. Instead, there's like one top blue. One top blue. Two shots with the Kobe. Nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, one shot. Good. Good. Block, 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 block. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Uh, very different. Here we go. Let's see if Roy can make this count here. Nope, gets nope. taken down right away. Oh, I see a Halo oh, 1 pistol in play from Snipe Down. Let's get over this to that. Be. It's got the Halo Combat Evolved pistol. That's going to give him the speed boost and a three shot kill pistol. Certainly uh, used it to get this 49 41 lead. Yeah, they only need. Say, well, 26 kill. kills. Yeah, they only need 26 only kills. Need, at this point in their game, they only need 26 kills to close this out. So, Mark, you weren't paying attention at all when I said that the, the game was to 75. Absolutely. Okay. I was paying attention. Oh, he's sniped down. Oh. I don't even think about it. Almost gets taken down. That was, by the way, a snipe down versus lethal. Lethal there with the beam rifle, snipe down with the Halo 1 pistol. Now a 10 kill lead, though, for Team Snipe Down. Ooh, would go up nice. 2 to 0 in this game. Beautiful cross map 3 there if he managed to pull that one off. Now he's moving through the turbine, still has that little speed boost on his side as well. 1, 2. But it's onto the person on the plat as well. 56 to 44. And now oh look boy. at the snipe down. This has uh, been the game changer. Look here. Oh, here he goes. Yo. I tell you what, it is so much fun using this Halo 1 pistol when nobody else has one. Also, is this what it feels like to be Ola sometimes? Yes. Like, just around the map, he just like, oh, yeah, yeah. You just feel like you move 10 times faster than everyone else. Oh, look at this. He's not stopping. 63 to 45. Now another triple. No. Oh. Almost. Ball here. Almost. This has been a real game changer. Look at the score now. It's oh, another boy. three. Uh, Randy. Randy. Make it two. There's the double. Is there anyone else? One, two, three, four. Another one. Can it be an over? Can he find the... He's going for it. Ah, he can't wait. Let him get it. Stays I'm alive. 
He didn't even bother picking up the sniper rifle. That's nope. how much he values this. Look at this! Now. Just just mowing through people. What a run for Snipe down here. 71 to 47. And even without ammo, he just wants to hold on to it still. Not letting that thing go. No. Can't blame him, really. It's a, just a, a, a nice weapon. I'd love to see him just pull it out so he can get a, a little faster and a little closer. The running riot! He gets it! 15, 15 kills without row. dying. That could be it. One more kill. One more kill here. Lethal could be looking at a 2-0 series deficit going into game number three. Snakebite is trying to do what he can to close it out. Eco now going to close it out and Team Snipe down. Go up 2-0 to zero now. Super Fiesta needs to be added in immediately to the competitive rotation. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'll tell you that. I could, I could watch this all day, to be honest. Yeah, Super Fiesta is pretty great. Wow, 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 as Richard Sims would say. <laughs> uh, some incredible stuff there. Snipe down. Oh my days. Going off. We got to see his stats. By yeah, the way. we do. I cannot wait to see these stats, gentlemen, because that was just unbelievable. And I heard you say he was mowing. He was like a gardener that couldn't stop his lawn mow. No, he? he couldn't. He was just chopping everyone down. He really was. He was just ripping through it. That but, absolute carnage that was going on there for but Snipe down was unreal. Can uh, yeah, we, Ola, can we get what into the? Ola's weapon Holy. stats, 90? Can Wait we see a second. exactly what Ola was using in that game? Snipe down had a running riot, 15 kills in a row, and Ola still ekes them out. I mean, the whole uh, team performing across the board there, really. Just, just Ola thinks. I mean, Lethal did his part. Look, what did he go? Negative one, best stats on his team there. Yeah. self proclaimed you know, best. I guess you can claim yeah, that's so. doing your part. Yeah, in a way. I mean, what I was do. going wrong there for Still Team Lethal? What, 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 what wasn't uh, quite clicking? Yeah, this, this one, um, pretty easy to break down. Um, <laughs> uh, Snipe Down's team got a lot of really good weapons, including mm -hmm. the Halo and Pistol. Which I think was a big fault on Lethal's team. Like, I saw APG one time spawning with the plasma rifle and what was he the thinking? suppressor. It's like, yeah, I mean, dude, you want it? Why don't you go with, like, Sniper I mean, or fair, Rockets or Profit's Bane or Pistol? I hate to call someone in the game, game as well, but, I mean, Ace did get the Prophet's Bane, and I don't think he got one kill with it. Yeah, he, he was, that was bad. He looked kind of clueless with it. Well, we'll have a look at that, gentlemen, as we roll the highlights forward for you, delivered by Mixer there. Here we go. Our first 4v4 map of the series. Our rivals, Lethal and Snipe Down. Snipe Down taking that second map from Lethal. It's all looking too sure to go in Snipe Down's favor now, but I don't know. We have some seriously good players on both rosters. It could go really either way here. Gentlemen, this game really was quite Snipe Down heavy. I mean, it was the game changing moment with the Halo on Pistol, and I'm sure we will see it in the, in the replays there. Well, it's yeah, very even right now. How quick, yeah, exactly. How quick do you rack up back to back kills? And not only that, not just the quick kill time, but how quick Run it is to out. get around the map as well with the speed. Look at that jump and score. It was like 41 to 42, and now it's just instantly 55 to 44 based on this amazing Snipe Down Pistol run. It was crazy. He was literally exploding heads everywhere. I've never seen anything so. It was, Just, it was vicious. It was. It was, it was vicious. Um, but another thing, actually, Snipe Down really rarely smiles, and he was beaming after that game. He's very happy right now. I feel like they're just having it out on that main stage, obviously not going Lethal's way, but Snipe Down, very happy man, isn't it? Maybe that's why he's putting a smile on his face, <laughs> because it's going his way. It's not going it Lethal's is, no, way. No, it's not. Also, it always puts a smile on your face when you play Super Fiesta and you get the Halo 1 pistol. Oh, absolutely. It's a great feeling. Oh, absolutely. Gosh. It is a great feeling. Another great feeling is looking at the series layout to see what we've got coming up next. Brought to you I by Xbox Game Pass. Yes, Andy. I do love this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> It feels great looking at a series layout. Do you know what? Hmm. You're right. This it does feel great. Dave, what are your thoughts? I agree with you too. Whatever you say, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, rig strongholds. Up you know, next. actually, gentlemen, we're doing all five games regardless we of are? outcome. Yes, we are. Oh, Confirm. that's great news. Confirmed. Kill confirmed. Check. Yes. So we've got the rig here next. Um, now I'm going to try and get a little prediction from you. You both at the end there, Bravo and Onset, said it was going to go lethal for the last one. Well, she, you were the right prediction. Are we staying with Snipe Down? Um, I, I agree with whatever Mark and uh, Andy were going to say, but um, yeah, it was kind of. You can be. I got lucky on that last one. No, you when you're your with own, us, you can be your own person. When you're with us, you're you, your own you don't no, have to. Well, safe space. Yeah. Them wrong. Safe space. It's okay. Because golden, I know we know how golden. We know, we okay, know. okay, all right, all right. Well, predictions <laughs> then for this one. Uh, as far as a H5 roster, I mean, oh, uh, lethal APG Ace Roy. They're a scary roster. Uh, H5. 
Inst- yeah. Oh, I mean, man. Ace, yeah, Ace and yeah. APG. If they play full Ace and APG, this is yes. going to be a really great game. Um, I think those are my X factors. I think that, that that's it. Also, I look at from players who can just like they're 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 freaks of nature. They just pick up the game that don't need a ton of warm up or something like that. You know what I mean? Like you just look at them. And it's like all right, they pick up the controller. They're four shot and five shot every single time. Yep. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna go with lethal on this one. Okay. All right. Uh, Where are you going, guys? What about you, Mark? Snipe down. Me too. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Wow. But they've gone we, against But you. we still care about you, Dave. Yeah, Dave. And that's the important thing. I got much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fellas, please break it up. We need to talk about what is on the line here for this evening's game. We actually have two trophies, obviously, depending on which way it goes. But we've got two shiny, brand new trophies with Lethal and Snipe down wow. on them. Whoa. Can't get much better than that, can it, gents? I've just noticed here as well, the one that Lethal wins has a picture of Snipe. Wait, 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 wait. And the one that uh, Snipe oh. wins has a picture of Lethal. Yeah. That is wonderful. That is a really good touch there for the HCS guys. I do love that. A little bit, little bit of trolling. Love it. I cannot believe we have a trophy that says Snipe Down wins, Lethal loses, and a Lethal <laughs> Snipe Down loses trophy. That, well done to whoever designed those trophies. No, it's the best. It's and the best the thing, thing of is, course. Even if Lethal loses here, I think he will pay good money just to have that. Oh, no, he room. would. He would. He'd yeah. probably be bartering at the back there. Uh, but just remember that, obviously, we are playing for charity tonight. $5,000 goes to the chosen charity of our players playing on either side. So, you know, cross fingers that it goes to one of them or the other. But, I mean, both for worthy causes. And, you know, it's, it's amazing what we're doing here this evening. So, great stuff there. Gentlemen, we're pretty much ready to go now on the game. So, hand it over to to the uh, TriCast. Mark, take it away. Thank you, Andy. And uh, Dave, welcome as well. Thank you. Thank you. We're all part of this. We're all working in this together. Uh, good to be back on Halo 5 for a little bit here. Obviously, we've uh, all commentated a heck of a lot of Halo 5 and all of these players are on the stage. Maybe with the exception of Roy, uh, played for the entirety of the Halo 5 lifespan. Uh, obviously, Roy took a little bit of a break before coming back before Halo 3 here. Do you think that, that might be a deciding factor a little bit when you're looking at the two lineups? Uh, a little bit, but obviously, they had a choice which players they wanted to grab, and he grabbed Roy for a reason. He just knows he's a freak. His shot's always going to be strong in any single game he plays. Uh, we've all seen Roy just streaming on Twitch from time to time. When he's playing Halo 5, he just, you know, hits no scope after scope, snipe after snipe. So I have uh, no concern about shot. The bigger concern is just going to be about how good his movement is. And that's one of the biggest separators we've seen in Halo 5. It's just how fast these players get around the map, how uh, quick they hit the jumps they need to make, how often they get snagged on corners. Well, early scoring in this game will be going over to Team Lethal. They've got Basement and they've got the Nest Stronghold as well. Snakebite though, he's got the scatter shot and he's got the camouflage as well. We know how deadly Nest can be. This is a few shots there on the player going underpass. Tries to uh, land that grenade there. No hit marks for him to locate that player. And now it looks like he's going to have an easy kill here on Roy, who slides towards him. Using that thruster, go towards the nest as well. Going to try and continue this conversion. If anyone tries to jump up on him, it's going to be the best place possible to stop this. I like he's, that too. Yeah. He's going for that hit marker just to isolate where that player is at. Either he's going to do damage, or at least he's going to know uh, players in that exact location. As soon as he didn't see the hit marker, he knew just to watch from the other from the box show. Right. Slide down there, picks up a double kill. He's obviously going to challenge for the triple as well. Come on, it's a show match. And oh, he almost gets it as well. A little bit of help comes in from Snake right there to help him out. 21 to 0, though. Team Snipe down at the moment, even though they're 2 0 up in the series, having a little bit of a struggle to start things off. But there's no surprise here to see the perfect kill. And he's. Oh, Snipe down! Beaming! Yeah, taking out his teammate Roy over there on the catwalk side. Just hitting some great oh, shots. Oh, the animation boy. on Ace. I love it. Keep those things turned on. That's what we want to see. Lethal picks up a double kill. Snipe down comes in to kill Roy. Another player in the basement here, and I think that is Lethal versus Snipe down. And oh, oh. Snipe down wins the battle. Drops down in. Oh, is yeah. that Lethal? Yep. Hey, just oh, check. Lethal. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he had double check. check. Just had a double check. But no love lost between these two. Oh, not at all. It's uh, also interesting, too. This is really the first true 4v4 we're having between these two squads, given that we had a 1v1 for our game one and a Fiesta for our game two. So this is really the first proper test of each side of the stage. 14 to 24, then. You can see Team Snipe down are scoring now. They have basement and nest control and snake by time in that camouflage again. So he's going to have that power up for the second time in the game now. Wouldn't be surprised to see him try and get one of those power weapons in his hands as well. Eco picking up a kill. He's going to trade that one out with a grenade of his own. And now he's trying to get the defensive play here and manages to get the reset. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the reset on the nest here. 
Do you know what's really difficult? What's difficult? Jumping Mark? between different Halo games and commentating. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many different factors and so many differences. I'm like, we're back on Halo 5 now. I would definitely say Dave and I disagree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're having a pretty great time, and it's pretty easy to jump between them. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool to. Uh, this game's a little faster paced. Yeah, sure, sure. There's differences, Mark, and I can explain those to you if you'd like. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, Halo Halo. Yeah, I mean. So, you know, we, this is all we've really done our, you know, for, for most of our professional life. It's pretty easy to switch between the two, Dave. Anyone know where Alex is? <laughs> don't even don't I did, joke. I didn't even mean that. <laughs> you, know, you know you didn't Sorry. mean that. All right, pretty close here. I just here. wanted to give him the hope. <laughs> and, by, <laughs> and by pretty close, I mean tie game. But, uh, you know, we we have obviously been given, been given stellar commentary talking about Halo 5, despite some of us having trouble jumping between the games. Yeah. Um, but I also want to go to a listen because even though those guys called out Super Serious during Super Fiesta, we want to hear how they're calling out here on Rig Strongholds. Oh, uh, no, and Bunker, I'm going to die. White corner, white corner. White corner, is white corner, top rail. Bottom, uh, underpass, underpass, top end right now. Yeah, he's dead, that's right now. Pushing Roy's top end. Okay, he's on. One, one is top end. He's, he's, he's not a nest. He's not a nest. I'm looking at the guy next to me. I'm in behind him. I'm in 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 I'm in
Some impressive stuff there coming in from Snipedown's team. I mean, you can't argue with it, gents. It's, it's actually not close quarters whatsoever going forward. What did you make of that Strongholds game? Uh, what I'm making of this whole series, actually, is that if Snipedown does get to choose his teammates and they stay, he seems to be pretty successful and win. Do you reckon Lethal is sort of, for a second. Do you reckon Lethal <laughs> is doing this on purpose in order to sort of just like calm calm the calm the sort of aggression between the two? No. Absolutely no. not. No, 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 no not a chance. chance whatsoever. No chance. Looking at that carnage report there, Bravo, what do you take away from it? Well, you got Snakebite going twenty and eight. And whenever Snakebite goes twenty and eight, it makes it real difficult to get anything done. I mean if you're imagine you have a day at home, it's a Sunday afternoon, I'm gonna get some chores done, but snake bites running around going twenty and eight, you're not getting anything done. Oh, great, nothing. is it? Lethal's probably going to have some words with him after this game. That's Certainly. the point. Did, Snake, did Lethal not choose? No, Snake he bite? didn't. No. S Snipe down chose him, funny enough. Oh, he chose him first. So, uh, Must right, have. okay, good thinking. Smart. Yeah. Good. Or maybe That'd he just left difficult. him out entirely. Yeah, I was going to say, if TJ just went, I don't, I don't want PJ, I'd be like... Yeah. I think we've got some rules in place, too, about selecting players from other teams and environments. I'm sure you just can't pick your straight squad, can you? Yeah. That'd yeah, good be point. ridiculous, Mark. Yeah, good point. It's not a thing, is it? Well, no. No, what is the thing though? It's highlights. Let's have a look now at the highlights from that last map we saw, courtesy of Mixer. Here we go, Strongholds. I mean, looking okay at the beginning there for Lethal's side. Some points on the board there. Capturing the two Strongholds, but it was a quick turnaround there from side down. Yeah, the moment everything changed was that triple cap. And we know in Strongholds, a triple cap is pretty much a guaranteed 15, 20 seconds. And when you've got players oh. at the caliber of the that we have on stage, the triple cap can not only mean you know, points on the board from the initial triple cap itself, but also the rotation of spawns that you put a team on when they're trying to desperate for one of those strongholds to stop the bleeding. So that was where things changed a little bit, to be honest with you. That's when the lead got a little bit unassailable. But I love the animations being turned on as well. The backbreaker coming in. Oh, a yeah. gold boy in the front. Tough to watch. Gosh. It is tough to watch. I mean, what is, what is it like, gentlemen, playing with a completely new mixture of players on a team? Well, it, it always works out differently than you expect. There's certain times where you have uh, this roster on paper, like, oh, man, these are all great players. Uh, I like them all. This is going to be great. And then you go in and play, and it's just it's miserable. trash. Yeah, it's yeah. miserable. It's just things do not work out. Uh, whereas other times, you're just like, man, I... I don't, I can't stand being around this person. I'm matched up with the matchmaking. Uh, people are trash talking each other before the matchmaking game starts, and then you just go through and destroy. So yep. it's it's it, usually the opposite it, of what you expect. I think it's a, it just points to kind of how chemistry works in Halo. When when you do have a, a, an all star roster, say whether it's a, with a local squad or whatever, and on paper you think it should be great, and it's not. It makes you appreciate when teams with chemistry do click because so much of what we of what we watch here in, in proper competitive Halo comes down to team chemistry, and a lot of that is you can't quantify it. It's impossible to, to explain it, and just the way the players play styles come together, it just clicks. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, something that we do already know is that Snipedown has won this rivalries match, but because we're good sports and everyone on the stage is also a good sport, we're going to actually play this through all the way to game five just for fun, because why not? And not just for fun, to be honest. There's a difference here between Team Lethal getting 5 would and oh yeah, dude. there's some bragging rights uh, still to uh, play. Five zero is a statement. I, I I've been four would before. I've been three would before. I don't know if I can ever has say that I've been, been five would. That's a good point. <laughs> Plus, I think the people here deserve it as well. Two more games. Why yeah, the stop crowd's the been bleeding, right? Today, so let's give them two more, right? Why stop the bleeding? Yeah. See, <laughs> and some Halo Three go. and Halo. A little more Halo Three, a little more Halo Two. It's gonna be good. There we go. Just to remind everybody that, of course, in celebration of this showdown between these two legends, there's gonna be a donation to a charity of choice, and of course, Snipe Down did win this one out. So. Congratulations to him and his team. And he's going to be donating the $5,000 to the American Cancer Society. So incredible stuff happening. Let's give it up for Snipe Down. Yeah, Thank let's give it so up. so much. There we go. Amazing stuff this evening coming through there. Uh, and of course, let's let's get to the action, fellas. So I think we should see a series layout now on the board, obviously provided by Xbox Game Pass. So we can see exactly where we're going to next and get your verdicts on that as well, as well, gentlemen, because we've got some stuff to get through this evening. And like you said, Mark, you're still having a trouble with the mix, right, of the Halos? No, I'm good now. Are you, you okay? Yeah, I got it. I just needed that moment. I just needed, needed to the coaching by Walshy, right? I just needed, do you know what I needed? Is like sometimes there's like the people who are like, oh, come on, I'm going to pick you up. I need the <laughs> solid hand of Dave. Well, just like, in case come you're on, man, not step sure, it up, get Mark, back into just it. in case you do need that extra pick me up, there we go. We've got the pit team snipers now. Uh, some exciting stuff, and it's just right across the board there as well. So, congratulations once again to team snipe down. Uh, Walshy, the pit team snipers, ever played it? Uh, I have. I, I How feel did like you there's do? times I just like try to bank shots right I was going to say, if someone doesn't like try and bank shot down long <laughs> to start this game off. So, yeah, start go for bank shots right off the start. And then usually 
you you get one really good snipe at some point, but then I die like five or seven times in a row, and I'm uh -huh. just like, yo, you saw that cool snipe I had earlier, though, right? That's good. <laughs> was well, someone who's definitely cool going to enjoy that is Snipe Dan, because obviously he's always happy with a sniper in his hands. Mm -hmm. Bravo going to be seeing some awesome shots from him, especially considering he's probably on cloud nine right now. Yeah, absolutely. And what we're going to be looking for, of course, is when we see the flanks come through. Because once you get on your opposing team's tower, unless the other team's pushing through, it can get real nasty pretty quick. Real dicey. Yeah. Okay, so gentlemen, I want to know a prediction. I know, obviously, we know the end result technically. Yeah. However, it's not over until it's over, is it, Walshy? So, prediction, please, uh, sir. I'm going to ride through a team snipe down now. See if they can bring up 4-0. Okay, here we go. On set. Team snipe down. <laughs> I'm going to go team lethal. I'm also going to go team lethal. Yeah. Let's go blue. Come on. There's there's so much sniping talent on both sides of the stage. This yeah. is a really tough call. Yeah. But lethal, APG, Ace, Roy, whew, I don't know. It's a tough call, but I'm going to go with them. We actually haven't said too much about Roy, actually, at the moment. We haven't really mentioned him. So he's a he's going to be a big factor here. He's been playing really well all tournament long, yep. uh, as Roy does. So maybe he's going to be the deciding factor. Roy, if you can hear us, lift team lethal up, please. We need some blue on that board. It can't be a 5-0. Could be a lot. It could be, though, yeah. yeah. Could no, be. no, no. Absolutely could be. Come back from that, can you? No one wants to see that. Well, eh. It's not up to I us here. It's not down to be pretty Fortunately, happy Fortunately, you'd be having the aftermath in the counseling session where Lethal's going to be crying. Hey, more business for you. Right. I was going to say, you, you have no idea. The, after over 10 years of experience, you have no idea the rates I can charge for the work that I do. <laughs> really? Yeah, for real. How much? wasn't cheap. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it later. Gentlemen, I'm going to hand it over to you now as we are game ready. Let's get into it. Okay, let's all put our money on the table here. Is there going to be a bank shot, headshot here at the start here? Uh, no. No. Uh, I'll definitely what, what put my money what on it. Yeah. Can you give any better idea? No what, fake. What no I'll fake. I'll give you two to one. <laughs> uh, I think also I'm looking for some runway bank shots. Yeah. Another sure. classic. For sure. We still see that sometimes. Uh, what we will see, though, is someone from top snipe hut shooting somebody into the sword window. That's my prediction. Through the sword window. Through the sword window. Uh, All okay. right. Okay. The person on top snipe hut I think hitting the person that's in the sword window. I think we'll see someone sniped through, through the top S3 fence, uh, which was famously known as the cankle spot from the Pucket commentary. Oh, Roy gets peeled by Snipe down here. And just to let everyone know, the first kill of the game that we didn't catch was 100% a bank shot uh, down long haul. So uh, good job there. Uh, tied up at number one, one for just a haul. moment. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? It was off screen. Look at this. Ola already on the on the turret. How? Just Ola things. Ola just things. Ola things. Oh, I heard Ola actually, I don't know if this is true, but Ola was uh, first spotted. Like I'm talking like at a very young age on top turret. was where they actually found him. That doesn't surprise me. No. Yeah, he was rescued there. Yep. Something like that. He was a, he was a rescue Ola. Rescue Ola. And not surprised to find a top turret. 8-6, though. Close game here off the break. 8-6, then. Well, Bordeaux we'll Roy now. A little bit of quiet one on Halo 5. Back on Halo 3. Now. Oh, oh my, what, what just happened? I don't know. I, I can think. tell you exactly what happened. Roy went for the quick scope and hit square in the chest, but then got sniped all the way from backcourt. Sniped down hitting headshots. And this is a good omen for Snipe Town, I was going to say. so fast, dude. <laughs> Body to drop in left, right, and center. This is not one of your more reserved uh, pit matches, let alone a pit sniper's Ooh. match. Push it back, Ace. Eco's coming. What's going on? All right, there we go. Ace cleaning that one up. He wants to see if he's going to go through flank. The problem is, is these players are so good, they understand the map so well that as soon as someone gives away a position, gets a kill, uh, they're going to get hunted. It's, it's like. You, you can get picked off from any location where uh, right. you know, they, there's so many angles they can have. It's not like it's not like normal pit where people have BRs. It's like they can hit you with one BR burst across the map. It's like, no, you can be instantly killed all the way across the map. Oh, we're going to see an assassination from Eco then. Sneaking up top tower. He gets taken down almost immediately. Yeah. It's a headshot. And, oh, I thought he just managed to peel another player there on training. But it's going to be a good little warm-up for these guys as well. Getting used to some of these angles again on the pit. Sniper in your hands. 17-6 to six to score, just one kill difference between the two teams, and Lethal's going on the flank himself. Misses out on Eco, misses two shots, make it three, and Eco makes it pay. Yeah, Eco took his time, too. Sometimes after the person you're fighting in Team Snipers, if they miss two or so, you, you just got to get your strafe down just right and just hit your shot. No, no need to panic just like Because you are. know they're panicking. Yes. Exactly. This game's so close here, tied up at 19. And uh, Snakebite's not getting out of this situation. You know most times where I can say, Ola's getting out of here? I could confidently say that Snakebite was knocking out of that needle side. Once he committed that side, 
Uh, obviously, someone can watch either the Mauler side where that training flap is up and they know you're coming out that side, or you're going towards the long haul side. So you're basically stuck there the entire time until you play that. Yep. Five kill lead here for Team Lethal, trying to get a game on the board, see if they can maintain it. Lethal then under training at the moment, looking for the shot to Eco. Eco misses one, misses two, and oh, this time. Lethal wins that battle second time with Asking. We saw the one in the courtyard a little bit earlier that Eco won. Now Lethal peeking towards the top tower and oh, snake bite teammate on teammate hit. Could be the, the need to stop shot. teammate on teammate violence. That's true, that's true. I mean, that's that's why we're at where we're at today with Snipe Down and Lethal in their previous teammate violence. Great little no scope there and a killing spree from Lethal. And we do have a listen-in ready with this squad right now, up by seven and potentially taking their first game of the series. Let's go to a listen-in with Lethal and Squad. West, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm here west. Is West on this map? Yeah, yeah, it is. Our green right now, and our long. All right, all right, all right. How much are you supposed to jump flat? Our deed, our deed, Walsh, our Walsh. Hey, Walsh, down here, Walsh, right? I don't know if time this is up. Our flag, also our first looking at you. Smoking. Our flag. The tower. Our first, 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 first. Yo, our green, our green. I'm back up. The green in our first. See if I still there. Our green tower camo. I hear you. We'll try in our Mauler. Watch up right. In our long after that's good. Our sword, our sword's knife down. Go ahead and bridge. Our needles dagger, yeah. Another one, Mauler. In, in long, our side. Our long now. And still like our Mauler, our needles. I think we can fit. Sword's knife down. Watch our first. Yeah, our first. Nice job, dude. I'm down the sword. Our sword or something? Yeah. Shocker, Virgie. Did they just hear you? I didn't bridge. I didn't bridge. I didn't bridge. We're playing snipers and dude's a sword. Let me get it. Bridge, 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 bridge. Oh, bridge. Dude, we our sword snake bite, dude. Oh, God, man. <laughs> Take a day off. And, and as you can tell, these teams neck and neck taking it dead serious as we are going here in this game number four. Yep, and what was once an eight kill lead right before the listening is uh, now a three kill deficit for Team Lethal. And they're not showing any signs of stopping. 40 to 37. And uh, yes, yeah, some, uh, some choice words coming from the side of the Yeah, choice words is the best way to put that APG now up on the top. I was giggling my way all the way through that listening. <laughs> Gotta say it was fairly entertaining. The other part too I found interesting is uh, even though the big team battle match happened earlier today, you heard that they still took allegiance outside. They said our Walsh, we're on Walsh's side. I'm pretty sure it was something along those lines that they called out when there was a player over here. Listen, there. Walsh, we know that you have different parts of different Halo maps named after you. But the, the, the low-key gloating just needs to stop. This is what happens when you spend too much time with Golden Boy. Good point, Chris. Yeah, I'm actually, glad you guys true. put me in check. Yeah, we had to. what Trio does. You were sounding a lot like Golden Boy, and it's not cool. We 44 you, to 40 in favor of We him. just want you to be your best self, Dave. That's what it is. Anyway, start down the three quarter bridge here by Roy. Three kills the difference between the two players, and you can see. Oh, look at that sniper rifle just sitting straight up. I hope, Roy, I hope Roy goes back to the second BR there. That I'm thing sorry. is perfectly standing straight up. <laughs> you see that? Got Wait, Roy has to wait till he zooms out. Oh, oh he's still there? Yeah, that's right. Wait, it there, do you see it? Right past the skull. Might get it uh, in the post game highlights, though. That should be one of the yeah, post right there. Oh, I let's wish get we could. Let's get that in the slow mode. Never seen that before. All right, three kill game 47 44. Need to back it down the player in sword here. Three kills to go. And this is looking like Team Snipe Down might be itching their way towards a 5 0 potential. Definitely a 4 0. Eco with a beat down here. Two kills to go. He's been top turret the whole time. He's also just jumping in such a ridiculous spot right there. You, you get away with it, I guess, if you're Eco. But 49. Snake Bite gets the last one, and Postola gets the final kill of the game. Snipe down leading the charge once more for his team. 16 kills on the board for him. Is it going to be a 5-0? It's all smiles on the side of Team Snipe down. And no big surprise there. Four games straight. Why not, gentlemen? Why not? Don't stop the train, just keep it going. I mean, but yeah, there is little, little to know. Come on, hope. TJ, get your boys <laughs> together. Get a game on the board. Yeah. Give exactly. them some motivational speech. Come on, where are the hand warmers, lads? Get them out. Come on, let's start performing. The tricky thing is that this last game, uh, we'll take a look at these stats first before we talk about game number five. I think it was 16 and 10. Didn't catch exactly who it might have been on top. Snipe down. Snipe down at the top of the leaderboards there. 16 and 10, as you say, Andy. Uh, pretty much everyone apart from me, decently positive. Apart, what am I talking about? Like, 
Can we ask Solo, Sergio? Solo went 11 11. Only two players went positive. That's not almost everyone. It's that's, not. It's, a, it's exactly that's half. half. Yeah, it's exactly half. Mark. I also talk about the surprising amount of assists that you would not expect to see in a team in a sniper match. You'd, you'd assume point. most people would just secure their own kills, not like body and have a second person finish off right. that body. It shows you kind of how much uh, calling out was happening. Because you heard it during the listening, too. A lot of call outs. And like you said, Dave, not only when a player kind of gives them their position. With the speed that these players can snipe, you have multiple snipers looking at you. So I think it's also a lot of players also just engaging with the player at the same time. Definitely. I mean, you hate to see it. Four and O. Oh. Four and O. Oh. Lethal, if you can hear me, come on. Tune in. You've got this, pal. You can still do it. Last game, last push. We might have to get another, another APG, trophy, wake him up. It come on. Say, it doesn't say I, I, beat, I beat Lethal. It says I slapped oh, Lethal in, in the series. Oh, call? dear. <laughs> I don't know. Got engraver out here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, yeah. We can call the. I know a few guys. <laughs> I'll get it sorted. We do. Let's have a look at the highlights from that map, gentlemen, now. Brought to you by Mixer. Um, some unfortunate things happening on the side of Lethal, but Snipe Down looking absolutely fierce. And, you know, the predictions have come in, gentlemen, and Snipe Down. Yeah. Obviously, in his favor completely. It's Snipe Down. It's in his game attack. Yeah, it's a good thing Dave well, has his. Well, Sniper Town, you know? He did. It's a good thing Dave has his engraver on speed dial because we're going to have to get a new trophy made. Uh, this series was, I mean, excuse me, this game was pretty close throughout the first part of the match. And I don't know what happened to Team Lethal's eight kill lead, but I think they all started laughing. Um, and uh, then they lost. I can't remember the last time that I haven't walked in and Dave's kind of wandered into rehearsals late and been like, sorry, I was just on the phone to my engraver. <laughs> it happens, what, daily at this point? Yeah. Far too often. D right. Dave, what are you engraving? Uh, I mean... <laughs> what don't you engrave? <laughs> I don't even know what I can engrave. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel on the spot there. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Game five oh coming dear. up. Though. No, it is indeed. It is coming up. Um, gentlemen, obviously incredible stuff here on the rivalries match. Um, but, you know, I just want to ask you, what does it mean to be able to do things like this in, in tournaments, uh, be able to have fun on the stage, you know, get ready uh, for some epic stuff, going back in the ages throughout Halo, going to different game styles, given game types. Uh, it's pretty amazing stuff. I'll tell you what it means. It means uh, everything. And the fact that we could have had both uh, uh, Halo 1, 2, and 3 on the main stage here would have been fantastic. Golden Boy didn't let it happen. But we've got a fantastic match at Halo 2 Creek CTF, another legendary game type coming up. We do indeed, and we'll see that right now on your screens because we're going to pop the series layout up delivered by Xbox Game Pass. There we go. Beaver Creek to finish out as Golden Boy requested Halo 2 4v4 CTF. Gentlemen, you look disappointed. I feel like there's only yeah. one man to talk about this. I, I mean, mean it's the man to my right. Here's the thing. Uh, you already had the previous four games. You knew what the, you know, you, you saw Halo 2. You're upset you about Halo it too. Halo 5. Where's Halo, Halo, Halo 3. Uh, What's uh, left? Most rational people would say, oh, yeah, we should get a Halo, Halo 1 4. in that mix. Yeah. Get a Halo 1 in that mix. And, he had one um, opportunity, and he just didn't take it. I've lived through a lot of, you know, reminiscent times here by watching these games. You know, Halo's been a big part of my life, but I feel I feel like a big chunk of my life was robbed of me during uh, this series. I'm I could have had part of Halo 1 it's okay, in here. Dave, Dave um, it's, it's, it's time to stop looking back. <laughs> You've moved on to better things now. Yeah. I, you have. You got I, a jumper. I haven't. I ditched that deadbeat caster. <laughs> <Still> <laughs> upset. And moving on in my life. <laughs> Best decision you've ever made. Yeah, okay. Gentlemen, prediction real quick. Okay, go on. Bro. Oh, no, I was going to say, uh, Creek CTF is going to be a great game type. i um, excited to see how it plays out. I mean, Snipe Down had the Halo 2 upper hand earlier, but there's so many factors in play in a Creek CTF. Yeah, I mean, you can get that flag across the map so quickly. Uh, you know, it's going to be super exciting to see as well. Uh, I, I want to see Lethal put a game on the board. I kind of do want to see that here just to sort of stop the rock because I feel like he would see that as a victory. It's like, Snipe Down will go, yeah, but I beat you. And he'll be like, yeah, but I got that game. We, we just got warmed up. You know, if if yeah, the game like, was longer, you know. Yeah, exactly. There's always a little caveat with TJ with something that he can take away. Yeah, a 5 0, he doesn't have that. Yeah, but a 4 1, was, he'll be happy. A good example was when he said, it, it's not my fault, but it is my fault. That was a tough one. To Absolutely. Ask. Gentlemen, I'm going to veto predictions right now because I'm not even going to allow you to speak it into existence. Lethal, you better up your game here. It's the last chance you have at stopping that 5 0 defeat. Gentlemen, Beaver Creek, let's take it away. All right, then. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is the last game of the series, it's our last game of the day today. So I want everyone in here to make a little bit of noise for these two teams. We've had a lot of fun today. A lot of money going to Cherry as well. Fantastic stuff from the two captains of these teams. And uh, what a better way to finish things off with one of the most iconic game types on one of the most iconic games uh, over the last 10 to 15 years. It really is a special way to round out the day. 
Yeah, we also could have done Halo 1, uh, Battle Creek, CTF, which would have been very similar and also got a mix of all the games. But, <laughs> but moving on. You're so <laughs> right. So, but, uh, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Here's the question. Who's getting this first OS crap? Looking like Team Lethal. Still got a couple of picks right there. Looking like he's looking for that. Ooh, ooh. I don't know what happened to those rocks, though. Was looking up top there, and I did not see anyone that grabbed these. I don't uh, think anyone has grabbed them. Yeah. Though, to be honest with you, I think Ola's moving up, and maybe yeah. he's got that OS. Trying to get eyes on him. He's got the sniper rifle instead. Now you can see him moving back towards the blue base. And keep in mind here, uh, Halo 2 Creek CTF, uh, that overshield's going to be every minute. So uh, you really got to pay attention to that overshield. And if you don't, it is going to rip you apart. I'm curious to see now that these players get to go back and play this uh, with all their years and literal, you know, over a decade of knowledge of Halo. Uh, how differently this will play out because there's so many times before you had to get so many slays, you'd have to get so many kills, and you still would possibly not even get the flag cap. Look even that, uh, even a top team like uh, Wild Roster. Look at the already running that top, the top throwing it out top, yeah. and now running it through the portal. Like on also getting the last kill. Is he gonna try to window this? No, uh, he, he's gonna he go up top. Throws it up. The teamwork is I good. Mean, Dave, are we, are we calling it a team? Oh, there's a player there! Well, well here's the thing. Oh, why did he drop down? It originally started at the window, and then sniped down, brought to the wall. That's true. From the window. <laughs> to the wall. To the wall. And that's where we'll come back. That's where we'll start. Oh, down. man. Yep. <laughs> Snake bite. All the way back up to the top of the base now. And, uh, I mean, can we officially, even though he came all the way to the wall and not straight up, can we still call that TDT cap a day? What do you think? Um, officially, a TDT cap would be, you know, straight through the portal, yeah. toss it up through the portal, and um, straight up. Golden Boy, that would technically be through in Halo 1. Now you can do that TDT, TDT cap um, yeah. where it'd be properly done. But uh, Look you know, at this on the edge corner. Snake by nose, you can get up on that corner. A sneaky route, but he's just going to take his time now and actually get up top properly. Oh, yeah. And for those watching today, uh, I used to actually be able to hit that jump. So if you're wondering back in the day oh. if the skill level of the players were decent, it, it was all right. By the way, Roy now falls with rockets. Both flags were down momentarily. Oh, it looks like this is going to be a toss with this flag. And who has the lethal team captain looking to get something on the board here, and he's got the kills to go alongside it as well, and he's bringing this one. Back to the base. Question is now, is the return return going to come in? Rockets in play as well. You can no, hear them no. whizzing by. Uh, no return, I don't think. Uh, we're going to be flags in both bases. So Snakebite's actually on his flag stand. Lethal on the top base. Uh, and that is going to be a flag standoff here momentarily. Continual flag standoff here. Both these teams know how to get out. Oh, oh something that's a glass. They call a break glass scenario. <laughs> play team. Stoner then controlling the top of the base line, and maybe he's going to be one who tries to move him for the return. The boy's trying to stay alive. Stoner trying to hunt him down. He does get the kill, but gets taken down himself. And there is going to be there a flag return, and there it is. Snipe down. And the boys go up one to zero. They've just put a cap on the board here. Let's see how they're celebrating. Let's jump into a listen in with these guys. I wonder, do you think I can still do this, Joseph? No. I don't think you can. Uh, I told you. I imagine. <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, that's, a hard, that's a hard that's, jump. That's a tough jump, bro. That was a very I, difficult jump. I wouldn't even attempt it because I'm... Oh, there's a guy at our base. I, I am one, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I killed the guy at our base. I have, I have sniper. Isn't oh. overjilled up like right now? It's it crazy. is, dude. Yeah, dude. Sweet. I got that over. The guy's over here. They're, I'm getting... They're bullying me! For their base. There's three dead, boys. I'm gonna, oh, go, I'm gonna go top there. Flying. Kevin, I, I'm gonna go top there with the sniper. Yeah. You have rockets, come over here. Oh, Ooh, man, I'm gonna. I think I might just grab all these sticky nades and throw four of them in the air. You won't. I will. You know I will. Up here. Back to their base, let's do this. One more in their flag. <laughs> I'm gonna jump into their flag. Is that all dead? Uh, one more in their flag. One more. Oh, really? Dang. I have a sticky nade, let's see what happens. All right, I'm, I'm throwing Flag. the flags off the base. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, right there. I'm at it. Wait, what? Uh, that's excellent. Like oh, he's on it. He's on it. Yeah. I just shot a rocket at it. I killed him. Ah, I'm dead. No. Oh, we killed him. Nah, yeah, but they're about to. They got it Flag. just now. What's up with that? Uh, our needle side going to um, a top flag. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm getting shot at from the base. So. I got him myself, dude. Let's hit this. Our top flag, one sniper. Oh, 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 I just challenged while I was weak. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Take flag. 
Overkill's down at the base. Our top flag, gonna go through portal with flag. Yeah, there's a guy on needles, I think. Uh, they're back flag, they're back flag. Uh, PJ's coming to you. One guy's going top rocket. Yeah, they're back flag. There's a guy going in front of our base. I'm pushing into their base. He's trying to toss that flag, and Roy does get the catch inside. Yes, indeed, tied up one to one. Didn't catch it on screen, but Ace with a really nice uh, toss through the window under pressure. They're going to tie it one to one. But one thing I have to say, after uh, having the chance to coach Pistola for so many years, I'm so glad that everyone got to hear that version of Pistola because that is how much fun Ola has in game. Oftentimes in serious tournaments when he's winning, but look at the speed of this cat. I yeah. got that OV. <laughs> That's what I want to talk about. Well, my favorite continual call out, which works for someone just only because it's Ola and he gets away with stuff, he goes, let's see what happens. Yep. He's like, I'm going to throw four, four plasma grenades in the air. Let's Flag see what happens. Take. And it's like, Ola, Flag double kill. <laughs> yeah. Flag return. So frustrating to play against. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Rockets here in the hands of Snake White. As we say, while all that was going on, just as we came out of this in, the game has been tied up at one to one. So Lethal and his team still trying their best I'm to fight back into it. But as I say that, there we go. Flag across the map, two to one now. Snipe down's team back in the lead. I'm going to run the flag across the map. Let's see what happens. That, that is the all the way. Uh, you put Pistola in any given scenario, and you're never, you can never be sure of the results. And that's what we're really seeing in this game. And I will say, Ola is one of those players when he's having fun, he's even better Halo player, which is really scary to think about. It also makes it more frustrating to play against, too, because like when you are trying your absolute hardest, you're calling out, like, what's up, top, top yard, top blue, and then you, you go back and watch like tournament footage, and they go to listen to Ola, and he's like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. <laughs> and he's just talking like that, you're like, I am giving my 110%, and I am falling short to yes. you. To Ola, who's just joking around and having a good time. <laughs> this is why we love him. This is why he uh, always has been a favorite, a fan favorite, excuse me, ever since he uh, picked up the pad. Such a great character, such a good guy. Eco then jumping up to the top of the base. Question now, can Team Lethal rescue something from this series? Something positive to talk about. At the moment, it's been sniped down, who certainly has been dominating. Oh, near back jack right there. Bad. Actually, two or three players inside blue just defend that flag fully. And where did that, that nade come I from? I think that was an inside nade off the flag stand. Is that Ola? Probably. <laughs> they are full of plasmas he threw a minute ago. <laughs> they just landed. Ola tosses flag up. Let's see, nobody really in position yet, so he's either going to have to chase that down himself. He's probably going to. Yeah, actually. that's an Ola thing to do. He's, yep, he's going to like grenade jump up there, something like that. Let's see what happens, actually. Let's see what happens. Yep, he's gonna jump on up from the other side. Oh, bad timing. Took him a little bit too long. He got distracted with some uh, some back blue. Distracted by a butterfly or something like that. Just something caused attention. Oh, the colors. <laughs> Flag pull though for Team Lethal. Starting gonna be dropping down into the blue base then. Roy though. He's been sneaky. Now they know, now they know. All right, yeah, 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 this could be a game winner and a 5 hour. Oh, nope. Needs to hit the shot. Oh, oh. Don't hit the shot. Just not in time. That's a big shot, but also a big return from Roy. Oh. Down, he's just so good at Halo, isn't he? He really is just phenomenal. Unlike you, Mark, he can go between the Halos pretty well. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this is pretty amazing how little, like, they have no steps lost when they go between these games. Me personally, I was one of those players that like, yeah, I've been gaming Halo 2 for the last three years. Uh, I need to go to the venue to warm up for two hours straight before our first match to make sure my BR is uh, somewhat presentable. Yep. But these guys can just hop in between all of these games. Well, maybe not all of them. We didn't get a chance to see Halo 1. I don't know what happened there. But uh, we, know, we know exactly what happened. Look at this. Wait, is anyone in the anyone up top? Anyone in the window? No, no teammates might be yet. It. He might be running low. Let's see if anyone's in position on the other side. Gonna walk into the base now. Snipe Down's just taking this one home, and what a way to end it would be. Team captain, he's got it. Walks into the base, he's got it. Ends it all. Snipe Down completes the 5 0 sweep. And if there was ever a question about 
Who's the more dominant Halo player? We hey, may have answered today. Have an answer. We're not sure. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Well, all right. Let's let's be real though for a second. This is all for a great cause. Most importantly, revenge. Yeah, revenge comes first. But of course, fantastic stuff coming in from Snipe Down and the boys. The money will be going to charity as well. Fantastic stuff for both these teams. Give it up for these guys once more, ladies and gentlemen. Has been a lot of fun here this afternoon. Here at South by Southwest, you can see the stats here, but at this point, it's kind of irrelevant. There's only one that matters, and that's the 5 up. Absolutely, he does. Well, Snipe Down will be very happy with that end result. Lethal, not so much, but it's okay. I think he can handle it. He's a, he's a you know, he's an experienced Halo player. I'm sure he's been through his paces before, um, but a 5-0 and o does kind of hurt, doesn't it? Yeah, I just, yeah. I just expect uh, Lethal to be like in Zombie Land, like wiping his tears with the piles of cash from like glo global championship. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm gonna recover from this one. It's true. It's true. Uh, he's <laughs> probably not feeling too bad. Uh, if when we looked at his uh, team when they were losing four to zero, most of them were laughing. Exactly. Exactly. And to be honest, I think they're just happy that they've competed. You know, it's for charity. Amazing stuff happening this evening. And, you know, it's a bit of fun. So let's take a look at the highlights now that we saw from that map. Brought to you by Mixer. There we go. And I love that listening. Pistola is incredible. I, I mean, love that. My he favorite is. Human. I mean it when I say uh, having coached Ola at, at, at many team uh, at events and lands and on different teams, I mean, that is Pistola in his truest form, just having a blast, being ridiculous in-game, and it's such, it's so much fun to play with, and that is like true Ola that you probably haven't heard in a tournament, because that's how he is when he's having fun and, and playing. Let's just see what happens, fellas. I loved it, it was, it was awesome. Um, look at this, look at this yeah. throw. Oh, Ace underneath tucks that in, that was a huge cap. That was so sick. Huge stuff there across the board, uh, I mean, but Snipe Down just looking so dominant with his team, looking like it was almost at ease. Um, Lethal just not being able to get his team together, get the ranks together. I mean, I've got to say, though, on Snipe Down's side, the combination of Snakebite and Eco was quite uh, quite nasty, for sure. I mean, what do you think, Walshie? Uh, I mean, yeah, they, they seem to work so well together, but I guess it's also not too big of a surprise when we saw some of the players on those rosters. You know, what I mean? like Snipe Down and Ola have some history together. Yep. Obviously, Eco can... It feels like he's just going any roster. He just like yeah. blends right in. It's like, yeah, I'm part of the squad. I'm, I'm gonna do everything perfectly with this team. Yep, I'll show 17 or 9 in Halo 2. No big deal. Absolutely. Let's have a look at the series overview right now. Brought to you by Xbox Game Pass. It is just a red sweep across oh, the board man. there. Uh, and you know, I, I actually say, you know, great stuff from Team Lethal for going all that mile, in, like that mile, all the way to the end of Game Five. There, just seeing it out. Um, because obviously it's for our entertainment, so you know, really appreciate that. But some amazing stuff there from Team Snipe Down. Uh, really, I mean, yep. guys. But you, more importantly, you all had fun, right? Try oh, cast. Oh man, trio. Blast, blast from the past. Trio. Actually, you know what we could say? Quattro. Let's do it. Quattro. Oh, there we go. I've been accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yay! Thanks nice. so much, guys. Nice appreciate moment. it. <laughs> Can't promise a sweater. Um, but more importantly, let's actually hear from the champion. <laughs> Of that rivalries match, he's on the main stage now with Fallout. Snipe down, congratulations. Thank you so much, Lottie, and the matching sweater trio. Uh, much appreciated. And yep, joined here with Snipe Down one more time. And a congratulations to Eric Rona, aka Snipe Down, for coming out on top in the lethal versus Snipe Down Rivals match showdown. You get the best of him here. Of course, Halo 5, he got the best here of this team. You win here 5 0. How does it feel? It uh, feels good. I kind of like stealing his teammates for. A couple of those uh, matches, but it was it was all in good fun, and you know TJ and I keep it civil, so fun games, and I'm glad we got to do it. Well, keep it civil. I was going to ask you about the teammate question, but I will I'll let that one rest here for a bit. But of course, you're able to donate as a result of this win. Five thousand dollars will be donated to American Cancer Society. So another round of applause for the charity component in American Cancer Society. I want to ask you, what is the reason? Is there any purpose there in ACS? Uh, yeah, definitely. So. Um, you know, definitely a lot of people get affected by cancer all the time, and it's a really tough thing to deal with. You know, um, my father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer about two years ago, and he's been fighting his ass off ever since. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of people go through that struggle, and it's always good to have people you love and support you around as much as possible because they need it all the time. So it's a good charity that I really want to keep supporting, and I'm just glad to have this opportunity. Amazing. Mr. Rona, keep fighting the good cause, and uh, it's tr truly touching. That's going to be it for us in the main stage. Let's let Rit lift this thing up, your little mini trophy here that you get as a result. And ladies and gentlemen, congratulations one more time to Eric, a.k.a. Snipe Down, on the victory here in the 5-0 sweep over 
lethal. That's going to be it for me here on stage. I believe I'm throwing it back to you guys on the desk. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Definitely, when we had a sneak peek before of those trophies, I didn't notice quite how small they were. It's tiny, wasn't it? I small. do love it. I think it is. It's a perfect. It makes it better. Just <laughs> like, yeah. And the That's thing it. is, it also just feels like sweet, sweet 5-0 victory, doesn't it? It is. I mean, amazing stuff. And, you know, um, touching stuff by Snipe down there. So thank you so much for sharing yeah. that with us. Um, a huge mes message going across the board there. And, of course, donating to charity, being able to do that tonight twice is quite amazing. So being given this opportunity, amazing stuff.